Uh, comrades from Zappu had asked a question uh, and uh, has gone for an interview. You see, com comrade trust and love, or champion trust and love. We are now reducing everything to an electoral context. Uh, that, that's where we differ with the triple C. Because uh, you want us to believe that uh, once we have free and a fair elections in Zimbabwe, ZANU PF is out of power, we'll have a land of milk and honey. This is what the liberation movement said during the struggle against colonialism and the apartheid. And if you look into the inequality in South Africa, because people perceived or were promised that post 1994, everything was going to be okay in South Africa, but to check at the inequality in South Africa, notwithstanding that is 30 years after what you characterize as democratic breakthrough and the ANC calls it freedom. So the issue is about the economy. The issue is about building a class conscious citizen. The issue is about understanding the character of the state. The Zimbabwean state, as, as, as we have been explaining, it's a deep state. ZANU PF is a puppet of a deep state. ZANU PF is not a state. It is a puppet of a deep state. ZANU PF can be removed from power. Another puppet of a deep state takes over. There are examples all over the world. Look at what happened in Zambia. Right? A gets removed from power in 1991. Chiluba comes in. What happened to Chilu? He reversed the gains that were made under Kaon. You are talking of Malawi. Yes, there have been change of governments in Malawi. So you can have a change of government, but that does not mean that we have destroyed the deep state. Because uh, <clears throat> the deep state, which is militaristic in character, right? A uh, a uh, runs the economy and a part of the problem that it is facing is that it has no access to international markets so they can give power to triple c so that triple c opens the way for it to have access to international markets for its economic uh, interests so we need to separate the two so winning an election and a winning state power are two different things. The, this is why I was giving a, an example that uh, if you are to build a class conscious citizen, you can't build a class conscious citizen in the streets. You need to get people into the workplace. And we have explained how uh, you need to rebuild the Zimbabwean economy. The mistake that we did, or we missed an opportunity, in 2013, in 2009, when we joined the inclusive government, the only thing that, that we achieved <coughs> during the inclusive government was the adoption of the 2013 constitution. If even the commissioners for ZEC were agreed during the, the inclusive government, Yes, of course, there have been changes in, in the ZEC uh, commissioners. But each party that was represented in parliament submitted names of commissioners that it wanted to be members of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. All this was achieved under the inclusive government. We then did not take advice from SATAC itself in, Maputo, in the Maputo summit in 2013. When because we thought because we're part of the inclusive government, we were going to win the elections. And a part of the problem from the opposition is that uh, while the MDC in, to, in, in uh, 2008 won 100 seats, including 
in perceived Tizanu PF strongholds. The people that uh, were elected as members of parliament were what we call tourist MPs. When they then got into parliament under the inclusive government, they forgot their constituencies. So that, 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 that is the challenge that, that, uh, uh, that, that you have in Zimbabwe. So the second opportunity which we, we lost, it was in 2017, right? The Central Committee of the Zimbabwe Communist Party meets in Bulawa in August 2017. And they resolved that uh, unless you have uh, implemented electoral reforms, the outcome of an election was going to be disputed. While some of us were, were then proposing a national dialogue to rebuild the economy and to ensure the full implementation of electoral reforms without going to an election, because we knew it was going to be, uh, it was going to be contested. Others were part of the people that were planning the military coup, assisted by the British. We all know how the late Morgan Swang right, left his, sick bed, his deathbed in Johannesburg to go uh, 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 to the uh, inauguration of Emerson Mnangak in 2017. We saw the presence of the deputy foreign minister in Britain responsible for Africa. What they were trying to do, because the coup in 2017 uh, was thought what a uh, a, a government of national unity was going to be established. And we now know that Chamisa, uh, Ed Cross, uh, who is Marit, Ma how to pronounce his name? What is Maridati. Maridati. Yes, Maridati. Were said were going to be ministers in, the, in that government. It was Swang Rai who said, if you join this government, you are out of the party. This is why they did not. Hence, there's always a video circulating. Chamisa assisting Idim Nangagwa and Chiwenga to go and visit the Siki, Siki uh, uh, Swangrai. And uh, the discussion, as we understood to them, the discussion was about postponing the elections. Right? So we missed that opportunity to reform and uh, to implement the reforms. Then post-2018 elections, your leader Chamisa then disarms his, his young people. He insults them, says it was stupid for you to go into a door to demand the release of the electoral results. Right? So, opportunities have been lost. But, but we are saying, before I then get to this, the other thing, when, when we say the influence of imperialists is huge in Zimbabwe. Currently, we have a war in Ukraine. We have a war in Palestine in the Middle East. Your leader, Nelson Chamis, goes and prays in Israel. When he's on the mountains in Zimbabwe praying, he dons the Israel flag. How do you think, how do you expect progressive forces to give support to such a lead. And you know, Comrade Trust, in 2002, that when we had presidential elections, whose outcome was disputed, when we ran a campaign in the MTC to have a rerun of those elections, the Tanzanian diplomats were very key. That uh, we will not support you for a rerun if it is Morgan Swangrai. Because we do not know the deals that had signed with the Tony Blair. And you expect that the progressive world today, when we have the imperialist war in Eastern Europe, when, when we have the Americans supporting Israel against the people of Palestine, and you think that the progressive war will then support a rerun after the SATAC report, for Triple C to win. It will not happen. And in any case, <laughs> I'm now concluding. <laughs> in, in any case, Triple C is imploding. You have put yourself in a very difficult position. Firstly, the SATAC report comes out. 
you then go to be sworn in as members of parliament and the councillors. When you are recalled by your own member, whom you are now, uh, you don't have a register to start with. You have just confessed there's no membership. Anyone can stand and say, I'm the secretary general, I'm the what, what, I'm the what, what. Because it belongs to citizens. Leaders must, at the back, it belongs to citizens. And the ZANU-PF has capitalized on that, right? But the issue is, you have given yourself two weeks to disengage. You are saying these two weeks until this issue is going to be resolved. It is not going to be resolved in two weeks. In any case, it is not going to be resolved. More recalls are coming. You expire of two weeks to disengage. You will find yourself now, no any other excuse. You will find, have to find another excuse to say, why do we continue out of parliament? Your members will stay, is it three sittings or what? I'm not sure. Without going to parliament, they will be expelled from parliament. <laughs> so your strategy is, is, is wrong altogether. Right? So, so it's triple sin is imploding. Your MPs, you were raising money. And these MPs, they had to practically raise money to support their campaign. Some of them had to sell property to support their campaign. And you are telling them that they should not go to parliament. You are now going to have another problem after two weeks. Where your own MPs, because it's now the politics of eco economics, bread and bad, they will say we are, we are going to parliament. This is another problem that you are going to find yourself with. So by the time the SATAC summit happens, uh, your triple C will be gone. And this is a reality that, that we must face. This is why we are therefore saying we need to go back to the National Working People's Dialogue and establish, after proper consultation, a mass movement that is organizationally strong because you cannot negotiate with a deep state when you are weak. You were supposed to build a strong triple C which was going to be able to negotiate because you have 73 members of parliament directly elected plus senators, PR and so forth you were in a better position to negotiate but organizationally you are weak you built a cultism in the form of Nelson Chamisa and then now your project is just crumbling that's, that's the sad part comrades like I said I have to be somewhere but a patriot go we need uh, <clears throat> to have more discussions uh, on, on the Zimbabwean question. Yeah. Uh, uh, be because uh, if we do not give a proper characterization of the Zimbabwe crisis, we will not find a solution. Because the, we, the struggle in Zimbabwe, or let me put it in this way, we are engaged in a dual struggle in Zimbabwe. It's a strike against imperialism and against the looting class. We must reject the uh, stooges of imperialist forces inside Zimbabwe. We must reject, which many of whom are located in the opposition, we must reject the looting class, many of whom are located in ZANU-PF. And the ZANU-PF has mobilized your Pentecostal churches, your pastors, uh, these prophets, uh, who are looting our diamonds. We must reject all that. So the strike in Zimbabwe is a, a strike against imperialism. It is the strike against the looting class. It is not necessarily about elections. It is once we resolve that problem, then Zimbabwe will get back to her feet. Thank you, comrades.